Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is BB, and in today's video, guys, come along with me with my um four days and three nights here in Bantayan, and then I will gonna explore Malapascua as well, and then Kalangaman Island. Good morning from Cebu. So I am here in Halfway House Hostel. I paid 379 pesos or 7.5 US dollars for this accommodation. Sorry, I cannot show you because some people are still sleeping. So I arrived last night like around uh, 11.30 in my hostel because my flight was delayed for one hour. So uh, when I woke up, I got ready to go to the Cebu North Bus Terminal for the bus going to Bantayan. It's almost 11.30 in the morning and we just got on time for the 11.30 um, ferry from Hagnaya Port to Santa Fe. So these are the rates and the time of the trip. After one hour ferry ride, we have arrived in Santa Fe from Hagnaya and the public transportation area is quite far from the docking area so you can still take the bus that you took up to the public transportation area and I'm so amazed guys with their port here. It's really beautiful. This is Kuya Sami, my tour guide for the Bantayan land tour. So he picked me up from the Santa Fe port to, and then took me to my accommodation and then we started our land tour. So the first spot is Pungtong Cave. So the entrance fee here is 225 pesos because this is a private with that entrance includes access to the pool, to the beach and then they also have the cave here. The next spot that we went is the ruins and the entrance here is free so you can do some um, jumping and cliff diving here it's just you know fun to have so many people here enjoying their time so we have arrived here in sandira beach or i think they call this paradise beach as well so the entrance is 70 pesos and this is the place where i spent most of the time and we actually like only have like a half day tour because i started this tour on it's already uh 1 p.m After spending lots of time in Sandira Beach swimming, we head to the Mangrove Eco Park. So this is the location where the Camp Sawe movie. So that's what makes this place famous, I guess. It's really amazing because this is the biggest mangrove eco park that I have been to ever since and I'm so amazed with this cooperative you know this group of local people who is taking care of this place this is just you know like um, educating people the community and tourists like the importance of the mangrove its environmental and economic benefits so hats off you know to the people who are working here i paid 600 pesos for this half day bantayan land travel tour and just feel free to give some tips because um it's a big help to the local people here in bantayan and the last spot for this bantayan land tour is the kuta beach so we just arrived just in time for before the sunset um starts my second day i was gonna do the island tour here a room tour really quick i stayed here in stevrina accommodations and i only paid like 1400 something so it was like 700 something 
pesos per night this is the door and then once you enter you can see the bed actually it fits two people here and then this is actually just a fan room and it's overlooking outside so this is my view it's quite a nice sunny weather again today we have this a little cabinet or dresser here you can put some stuffs in the drawer so i have my stuffs over there and then they have a chair they have this little um, table i really had a good sleep last night this is outside my room so these are some of the rooms too they have a tea race over there so some people hanging there like drinking some uh, alcohol last night some books here you can read to visitors and then this is the restroom very basic too the same tower. It's a very basic accommodation for the price that I pay, but I can save a lot of money. So this is how I do for me to be able to do travel. So this is the tea race here in Stevrina accommodation. So what's really good thing about my accommodation is just it's only like seven minutes walk to Santa Fe Port. From my accommodation, I took a motorcycle going to Alice Beach of Santa Fe. So this is in Barangay Ukoy. So this is where the tour, the island tour starts. The boat cost 1,800 pesos and we split because uh, I found a couple. So I just joined with them. So it's 600 pesos each. A few minutes from Alice Beach, we arrived in the Hilantagan snorkeling area and the three spots that we were gonna go today are just near from each other. So it's just a few minutes away. So right now we are here in Balidbid Lagoon. This is our second spot for the Bantayan Island Hopping Tour. So this is Balidbid Resort and the entrance there is 150 pesos. But our boat is just ducking over there so we are not paying any entrance. Ganda. Pero pwede na siya din hikaliguan. This is Balidbid Lagoon. Actually, the water comes from the ocean. And if you can see how strong the current is, it's going over there and it's just very swallow in this part. But over there, it's already um, deep in that part. We just arrived here in Virgin Island and I am so amazed with this island, guys, because I think this is one of the best island I've been to. Like, look at the water. This is the cliff jumping in Virgin Island. This is 15 feet. My own lifeguard. Really, I'm super amazed with this island because each corner if you look left and right and it's just really beauty that you can see and it's really amazing how they maintain how they manage the island and I think because this is like a private property and they really did a good job to just maintain the beauty of the island I'm super in awe super amazed guys coconut juice here in Virgin Island of Bantayan Island is 80 pesos and this is the view oh this is really awesome island guys
around 12 in the afternoon we arrived back and then I had to have lunch and then buy some snack and then after that I really had a good nap and then uh, on the evening I went out and just explored and see the places like bars and restaurants all over the place so after the dinner I head back to my place and then sleep for the early very early um, trip going to Malapascua the next day. 